first win out of the way, how does it feel? Oh, it's amazing. You know, my last fight was a really close decision. You know, I thought I had it. So, you know, on paper, it doesn't look very good. And I had to take a year off because of a knee injury. Amanda's schedule got really heavy, so I kind of just took that year off to go with her through her thing. And in the meantime, I was training and improving. But finally, it feels good to get that win. What, a, what was the key to it early? She looked like she caught you, caught you with some shots early on, but uh, kind of took over the fight late in the first round. Yeah, um, she landed a couple of shots. They weren't anything that, like, dazed me or anything, but I knew it was points. I knew how to get them back. So I kind of turned it into a, this is a point system and a, a sport, not I'm tougher than you. So I got myself together, and I did what I needed to do. You mentioned a year that Amanda's had, um, kind of being around that, being such a part of it. Has it been kind of putting pressure on you to do well, or is it almost like inspirational to you? How do you kind of see that? Man, for her last three fights, she's called me out telling me, telling everybody that I was the next champion. And <laughs> there's a little bit of pressure, but, you know, she believes in me. I know what I'm capable of. She does, too. And, you know, it only motivated me to, to get the win tonight. It's only your third fight in three years. Like, looking, full, looking to 2017. How active would you like to be? Do I want like three or four fights this year. Like, I, it was the longest layoff I had, and it was irritating. Every time I wanted to fight, you know, the doctor wouldn't let me go. And then Amanda had a fight, so I didn't want to ask for a fight the same time she had a fight. Um, I got offered this fight. It was a little close than I wanted to be to hers, but I went with her momentum and ran with it. This, this is your first UFC win. The division is, it's shallow to say the least. There's not, there's not a lot of fights that you can get leading up to that title fight. How many do you think you're away? Do you think if you could put a string of three wins together that we're looking at a title shot for you by the end of the year? I really do, and I, and I think if I put those three together, they would be three finishes, and I think that in this division, that puts you right up there for a shot. So, you know, I want to go back to gym, fix a couple things that I felt I had mistakes with tonight, and finish fights and keep going until I get to the top. Is there a name that makes sense for you, do you think, next? No, no names. Every time I ask for one, I don't get it anyway, so there's no point in calling <laughs> anyone out. What were the things that you felt were mistakes? Um, you know, I, sh I should have kept moving a little more. Uh, I stood in front of her a little too much, gave her opportunity to score a couple points. Um, I hurt my foot a little bit, so I wasn't able to move as much as I wanted to. But, you know, little things here and there that I know personally I can work on. My coaches were going to go back and talk about it, and you're only really going to see me more improved each time I step in there. I think there were a few times you had her in the, in the submissions attempt. Were you surprised how long she held out? And then... You know, as soon as I lashed them on, I kind of did it just to hold her in a bad spot and beat her up a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, I knew eventually she would break in and I would be able to sink it in, but the first couple weren't exactly under her chin. I knew they were on there, but it was enough for her not to want to move and be able to do some damage in the meantime. How did you balance the last two weeks between celebration and preparing for a fight? My God, it was hectic. The first week back, I didn't do anything. Man, I didn't sleep for five days because, you know, she was so excited about her fight and me being excited for her as well. You know, the days got all crazy. I didn't know what day it was, what time it was. And then finally it all came down and everything just started to fall in place perfectly up until today. Everything slowly each day got better, better, and it was a perfect day.